This beautiful town in Portugal's Algarve region stole our hearts since the moment we stepped foot in it. And we think it's gonna steal your heart too. If you haven't considered adding Tavira to your Portugal itinerary, you might change your mind after watching this video. So most people visiting the Algarve region, they end up staying in Albufuera, Lagos, or even Faro, but we really wanted to find somewhere unique and less popular, so after many, many hours of research, we stumbled upon Tavira, and it has been everything we wanted and more. So Tavira is one of those places where you just don't get tired of walking around. Every corner takes you to like a different cobblestone or tiled street where you're just like walking past whitewashed buildings with beautiful tiles. It's very, very beautiful. If I had one word to describe Tavira, it would be quaint or adorable. It's very nice here. We haven't been to Albufeira, but we visited Faro and Lagos. And even though they're so beautiful and amazing places to go on vacation, there was something about Tavira that we can't really like pinpoint what it was, but it's like when you arrive to a place and you like immediately connect with it, that's exactly what happened with us on Tavira. This place is awesome. I love like the river and all the restaurants lining the water, all these beautiful bridges and everyone's out and about like enjoying their day and having a drink and we're totally going to do that later. This is so pretty. The place is like a postcard. It is so, so beautiful here. I know we keep saying that, but it, it really is. It's adorable. Adorably quaint. <laughs> We are now in the local market and you guys are not going to believe this, but this is the first time that we're in a Portuguese local market, which is so unlike us because we really, really like doing this. But our life has been very, very crazy the past couple of months. We have been moving super fast, being like busy with work, a bunch of other things that we'll share in like other videos. Anyways, that's why we haven't been to a local market, but we're so excited to be here. We're going to pick up goodies before we go to the beach. Hola, buen día. Yeah. <laughs> that guy is the cutest. What did he say? Film all this because she has the best vegetables? Maybe. Something. He's very excited about the market. A sweet treat. Just south of the town of Tavida is Tavida Island, and that's actually where we're going right now, and we're passing a flock of flamingos. How cool is that? There are like two ways to get there. You can take like the main road, and there's like a tram that'll take you as well, or you can go on the ferry. It's like 220 euros back and forth. What a deal. We get to ride the boat, look at flamingos. I think we'll be there in a few minutes. Time for a beach day.
great spot, but we didn't come fully prepared. So this will have to do for our towel. So we mentioned that Tavita is less popular than Abu Fuera and Lagos, and it definitely is, but it's not some kind of like hidden gem. We hear tons of like English accents, German people, Dutch people, and we don't blame them. It's October and we're sitting on the beach and the day is beautiful. It's like 80 degrees. If we were still living in Chicago and came here on vacation, we'd probably buy an apartment immediately. It's very <laughs> beautiful here in Davida. What Bring an October day, huh? Yeah. Look at a tan today even. Get rid of my t-shirt tan <laughs> after eight months. <laughs> It's been a while since we had a picnic. We actually love, love having picnics. We started doing them when we started saving money for this trip, like five years ago when we were still living in Chicago. And it was a great way to have dates and save money. And then during COVID, it was like the only way to do something because we were still in Chicago and like everything was closed. So this is nice. This is very special. Now we're doing a picnic during our trip around the world. Oh, oh, nice. definitely grateful. This is really nice. You're double fisting the fruits? Double fisting fruits. <laughs> I wish this was balinka. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Apple and ap apricot balinka, yeah. but minus the alcohol. <laughs> you can turn it into a balinka. This one's really good. Mm -hmm. We got lucky. Looks juicy. Mm -hmm. Very healthy picnic. Except for this. For me. <laughs> <laughs> this is just sugar. <laughs> Now it's happy hour time. this perfect day with some petiscos which are Portuguese tapas and it is decided Tavira is one of our new favorite places in the world and if you guys want to discover other beautiful places here in Portugal I'm gonna leave our language video here so you guys can check that next and we'll see you guys on a train and bus on a very long travel day from here to Tavira to Nazaré which is the big white capital of the world thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye